Welcome to the final days. Today is March 4th, 2020. Today we will be reviewing time and size comparisons of a very large celestial object viewed back in June 2019 and also just a few days ago. Also, I have an update on the 750,000 troops currently gathering in the Middle East, as well as an update on the mid-May cosmic event this year. We will also see an enormous celestial object that takes up 30% of the horizon and other sky anomalies not mentioned on mainstream media. All of these images you'll be seeing came from the Alaskan FAA weather cameras these images are unedited except where obvious contrast is used to facilitate viewing. The purpose of this channel is to show viewers that we are living in the very last days according to the Holy Bible and to explain how to prepare for what lies ahead. These images are just a few days old, I think perhaps seven days old. They're all time stamped up in the upper right corner and they came from the southeast facing camera in Yukon River Bridge, Alaska. This footage shows a celestial object that we've been seeing whenever possible from this camera for many months. In just a minute we will be looking at how it compares in size or closeness with the same object from June and September of 2019. For several reasons, we know this cannot be a lens flare. Lens flares of the sun don't rotate and they don't have heavily textured surfaces such as this object does. These images from this camera are not easy to obtain anymore because the skies in River uh, Yukon River Bridge are kept under very heavy cloud cover most of the time. I feel sorry for those who have invested in solar energy which is nearly useless under the chemically induced cloud cover skies. The object you are seeing here is part of an inbound planetary system which has now intermingled with our own solar system. It is best viewed from Earth's polar regions which are now saturated with heavy atmospheric chemicals that make viewing difficult. All cameras in the South Pole were shut down three or four years ago to avoid the necessity of saturating those skies with atmospheric chemicals. Here are three different dates where this same object was captured on the same camera. Using screen pixels we can see how much larger, closer, this object was in September 8, 2019 than it was ten weeks prior on June 28th, 2019. From June 28th to September 8, this object was 19% larger, indicating it was closer to Earth. However, from September 8th until February 28th last week, it was 7% smaller, farther away. Thus, it was closest to the Earth in the middle image taken on September 8th of last year. We are no longer getting closer to this object, but we are moving away from it or it is moving away from us. In just a few minutes we will be seeing an enormous celestial object that makes this one look tiny. We saw this same striped object a couple weeks ago, but we now have a better look at it because the sun is higher in the sky. The manufactured light passes in front of this object while the real sun passes behind it so that an eclipse is not obvious. Untold trillions have been spent on the technology to hide the approaching planetary system because the enemies of Christ do not want you to turn your life over to Jesus while you still have time. Jesus describes the last days in Luke chapter 21 verse 25 when he says that we will see signs in the sky when the end is near. Information is at the end of this video instructing you on how to accept Jesus into your life. The southwest facing camera in Honolulu, Alaska shows us one of the largest celestial objects 
ever caught on these FAA cameras. It is well hidden by the atmospheric chemicals, but as the light source comes closer to this object, it lights it up, making it possible for us to see it, especially with some contrast added. The objects we've been viewing are all part of an inbound planetary system. This planetary system is accompanying a highly magnetic celestial object that several scientists around the world have been tracking for years. The magnetic anomaly is represented by the blue sphere in this footage, which is only an approximate position that I obtained from watching the Terrell Black Star update report. In mid-May of this year, Earth will be at its closest point of the year to this incredibly magnetic celestial object. Mike from around the world, a cover name for someone in military intelligence who is often featured on the Paul Begley channel, has stated several times that Earth will be dramatically affected in mid-May of this year by this magnetic anomaly. The magnetic pull of this object will disrupt Earth's tectonic plates, cause an increase in volcanic activity, and will increase the heating up of Earth's molten core to a greater extent than in recent years and months, as we draw closer to this object on our journey around the Sun. Terrell Blackstar has been stating for years that the same year that Earth makes its closest pass to this magnetic object is the same year that a contagion is released upon the population. Here's an update on the 750,000 troops that are currently gathering in the Middle East, with no mention on mainstream media. On Thursday, February 27, the Paul Begley Channel stated that this information has been confirmed about the troops gathering in the Middle East. Mike from around the world on the Paul Begley Channel that same night stated that they would continue to gather for the next couple of months. The United States has also positioned many troops in the Middle East in response to this amassing of troops from Muslim countries all over the world. The Bible's book of Revelation, chapter 16, describes such a gathering of armies in the area of Armageddon in the Middle East. In the next paragraph, it describes an earthquake more violent than any earthquake that has occurred since humans have been on earth. This seems to parallel with exactly what's going on right now with troops amassing in the Middle East. As we approach the magnetic celestial object that will cause an increase in earthquakes and other earth changes, there is a possibility that Revelation chapter 16 could be played out with these very events. I cannot make an exact prediction. I'm not a prophet. But I find it very interesting that Revelation chapter 16 describes troops amassing in what is today's Middle East, followed by a major earthquake, while at the same time troops are amassing in the Middle East right now as Earth heads toward a celestial object that will have an effect upon our planet. Several months ago, Homeland Security warned all citizens to have at least a six-month supply of food and water on hand. This is one way to physically prepare for these times. But more importantly, we need to be spiritually prepared so that we know for absolute certainty where we will go when we leave this world. All of us will leave this world at some point in time. And the way things are shaping up, it's looking like that time could be soon. The good news about this is that Jesus has promised to remove his faithful followers from earth before God's wrath occurs. This is commonly called the rapture, which will take place quickly and quietly. The new King James Version of Luke chapter 21 verse 36 reads, Watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass. 
Jesus is referring to God's wrath. He is saying that those who are counted worthy will escape all of God's wrath. Faithful followers are not appointed to God's wrath. To be counted worthy, though, we must be living in holiness. A link in the description box below discusses what holiness is and how to achieve it. Always remember that you are an eternal soul that has been sent into this world into a temporary flesh body and given the chance to choose to love Jesus Christ out of your own free will and live according to that love. This is the only reason you are here. No matter how bad your past is, no matter what you've done, Jesus is still waiting for you to accept him into your life. The next few screens will tell you how to accept Christ into your life in the event you are seeking him. Simply pause the screens if you need more time to read the text.